Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for being here. We have a brand new workout, five new exercises. We're going to learn those five exercises plus modifications to make them easier. So you might want to take notes um, and really pay attention to those modifications because you might get into the workout and not remember what you wanted to change. So I suggest that you write things down. You're going to need a set of light sand bells. Mine weighs six pounds. You could use light dumbbells instead. A mat and two paper plates that we're going to use for sliders. The first exercise, we're going to use one sand bell. We're going to put it under one hand and do a burpee. And then we're going to stand and pass that sand bell overhead. So I'm going to come down, one hand on the sand bell, one hand on the floor, jump back, push up or not, your choice. Hop your feet back in, stand, and pass that weight to the other hand. Set it down, hand, one hand on the sand bell, one on the floor, push up if you want. We're going to do these much faster in the workout. Stand, pass that weight overhead. All right, let's take that down a notch. I would like you to start working your way up to burpees. So you can do a step back burpee where instead of jumping your feet, you step back into plank, or you can even step one foot back. So I can have one hand on the floor, one on the sand bell, step back in one leg, come forward, stand first, then pass that weight overhead. Now, if you have a dumbbell, you might want, not want to have your hand on the dumbbell when you do the push-up. You might just set that down and have your hands here. But with the sand bell, it's great. One leg back, stand, then pass that weight overhead. There's your modification. This next one, I'm going to use my mat for cushioning. So if you're on carpet, that'll be helpful. If not, roll your mat up a couple times. Two mats sometimes I use if I need extra cushioning because I'm going to be on my knees. I'm going to use both of my weights and I'm going to start on my knees and I'm going to keep the weights here the whole time. I'm going to step up to standing and then back down and then switch the lead leg. Now the beautiful thing about this exercise, oh, I've got to stay on my mat, is that this is very practical. We do this in daily life. We get up off the floor. So that's what you're going to be doing. All right, that might be hard on the knees. You could modify it by keeping the weights at shoulder level for one thing. That takes the core out of it though, quite a bit. Or you can turn that into a squat, stand and press squat, stand and press. So you're just not coming from as low from the floor. A couple ideas there. I'm going to get my mat out of the way for the next one. This is mostly shoulders. We're going to balance on one leg, keep the elbows bent 90 degrees, palms facing in, shoulder raise, open to a T, there's the balance, and then reverse it back to start, switch. Shoulder raise, T, pull it back in, switch. Okay, so obviously you can modify that by standing on both feet, taking out the balance aspect of it, and just doing the shoulder part. And then, of course, the best modification would be to use lighter weights for that, or no weights at all. The next one is our cardio. We're going to do jump lunges. But like most people, I find jump lunges to be ridiculously hard, fairly miserable. So we're going to modify just a bit. We'll still get the cardio aspect. It'll be a little easier on the legs. We're going to jump back into the lunge. Try to balance. <laughs> jump back together. Jump back into the lunge. So there is a tiny break as you do that. Here, together, here. Together, here. So I find when I do regular jump lunges, I begin to lose my form, and I start to worry about my knees. So this allows me to reset in the middle and jump back into it. You can do regular jump lunges, of course. Do what works for you. And then if we want to take the jumping out of it, step back into a reverse lunge, all the same muscles. But if you want to start adding that plyometric aspect, jump there, lunge, jump. And just practice your soft landing. Use your knees and shock absorbers, quiet feet, tight abs. Don't just rely on the lower body for that. Engage the core. Feel like you're lifted. So when you jump out of that, it's from the whole body. It's not just legs. Okay. Last exercise. Paper plates under the feet. We're going to do what we call hell raisers and add what my friend 
friend Gina, hi Gina, calls wipers. I sometimes call them plank jacks, but when we're on the sliders, it's more like wipers. So the wipers are here, open close. The hell razor is here. So we're going to combine those two. So you start in a very strong plank position, shoulders over hands. I don't want you here. I don't want you back there. Pull it forward. My gaze is in front of my fingertips. Abs are pulled in, straight line, head to heel. So I'm here, three, two, one. I lower down, three, two, one. I press up. And that was all a right arm lead. Now I'm gonna lead with the left arm. Down, three, two, one. Left arm, three, two, one. Okay, so that's combining several things. Plank, push-ups, <laughs> um, plank jacks, all that stuff. Inner thighs, that's a fantastic exercise. But that can be pretty intense. My main modification for people would be to elevate your hands. So here, and just hold, just hold the plank jack. You could throw a push-up in if you're inclined to, instead of the hell raiser up down. So those are the five exercises. If you click on the link below this video, it will take you to me doing this workout in real time. So head on over there 